hello guys welcome back to nrcalc video tutorials in this video tutorial i'll show you how to work on a concrete beam so first this is my project manager setup where i can add uh, or whatever i want to add like wood beam steel beam a concrete beam so columns footings everything so I'll just select add over here so it highlights add new calculation so once this window opens up I'll say concrete beam over here since I want to work on concrete beam so the whole new window opens up and this is just for concrete material so uh, in description I'll say whatever my bean beam name I want it to be simply supported coming over here we can choose this I would like it as 5000 psi and I'll make sure that my modulus of elasticity for concrete also changes and I have FY main rebar 60 KSI that is fine 29,000 KSI as my modulus of elasticity of steel and FY for stirrups 40 KSI that's fine or we can change it to 60 it's anything is fine so still a bar size number is 3 we can just move it to 4 okay having done this so you can see over here we have a beam of 10 feet span when I go to beam span data I can see I have one span uh, I can change it to let's say 16 feet and the beam shape is rectangle so let me put the dimensions as shown once I'm done with that you can see over here the maximum bending stress ratio is zero for now but once you apply loads let's say UDL of 5 kips dead load and 5 kips live load so there goes my maximum bending stress ratio which is very much higher and it says design not good so this is just some random loading I have taken to just show you I'll make sure that I also add beam weight so how do I make sure my maximum bending stress ratio is less than one and the design is good I can just increase the beam size let's say 12 inches and then I can increase the number of bars if I have three quarter inches cover that leaves me with almost 10 inches so I can have almost five bars and you can do this now size will be 6 I can increase it to 7 that way my maximum bending stress ratio decreases I can reduce this by number 4 and as you see this distribution of bar center is 3 inches from bottom I'll add another set of bars 
the total number of bars will be 4 which will be of number 7 dia and I'll make sure that these are 4 inches from the bottom the 1 inch gap is so that the aggregate gets to settle in between So you can see the green bar set is nothing but number 2 and blue color is nothing but number 1 and you see still I need number of bars so I'll just increase I'll increase it to number 8 number 8 is exactly 1 inch in dia and they're still required so I'll just say 2 inches from bottom and this is the section cut location I mean from a span of 0 to 16 feet wherever I want a section cut I can make it uh, what can I do? Let me think. I can just add few more bars, or I can just increase this to 24 and make this 16. So there it goes. My maximum bending stretch ratio is less than one and my design is okay so I have my load combinations in here all of these load combinations have been run and if you see in combinations over here you can see the bending capacity values and stress ratio for different combinations coming to MVD summary if you select on any one of this you can see all the values shear value, moment value or else if you want just for one particular load case you can see it and deflections can be found for every load case different intervals it's shown and even this year coming to support reactions you can see the support reactions for different load conditions if you want to see a sketch of the beam so it is simply supported and as I said it has a 5 kipper feet of dead load and live load and then next will be drawing diagram this is a moment diagram and let me select one load combination so that is the load combination moment diagram for that load combination and also shear diagram and then you have deflection that way you can see moment shear and deflection drawings if you go to 3d you can see rectangular beam concrete beam nothing but with two sets of rebar in there so this is the case when you have simply supported concrete beam of rectangular shape let's try a T shape so I selected T shape and 
I have this I'll make it as 4 inches and I'll change the width to 8 inches and flange width looks good so as you see number of bars in 8 inches we have 4 so that doesn't look good I'll just reduce it to 3 so if you say 3 yep there it goes and um, I'll just say 2 inches from the bottom and then again I'll add one more set of bars at 4 from the bottom 4 inches from the bottom so as you see now there are 3 sets of bars nothing but 9 number 8 bars arranged at the arranged in the web of the TV and the stress ratio looks good my 3d drawing you can view it so there it is and um, these are my moment shear drawings and calculation results so you see now you know how to uh, design and analyze a concrete beam just make sure that you put the numbers right and the loading is right then you can do it if you have multiple spans you just need to add the span one the span length and its properties and the loading combinations and then you are good to go thank you for watching the video